Hi friends, I am Avi and I am back. So, welcome back to Lily's Corner. Um, if you are new here, please like and subscribe. I am here for our next informational video. Why is glass transparent? As I talk about glass, I am wearing glasses right now. That's how you see glass everywhere. You see it in windows. You see it basically everywhere in your everyday life. So glass is really important. You might be thinking, I know you guys must have bumped into a glass wall thinking it's just normal air. And that has happened to me before. So I know how that works, especially when looking through glasses. I'm like, oh, am I wearing glasses? And then I touch my face and then, oh, okay, yeah, I am wearing glasses. Okay, so, as I told you guys, glass is everywhere. And you might want to know, why is glass transparent? Why can we see through it? Well, I'm going to be answering that question today. Glass, first we need to know what is glass made of, like what its materials. So we have to go into the earth for this. So inside the earth, there is a crystal called quartz. Inside quartz, all the molecules are perfectly lined up and organized like a line, a marching line, very organized in there. But when you melt that quartz, it turns into something else. Whenever you melt water, like not melt water, like ice, whenever you melt ice, it turns back into water. And water, when you freeze it, it turns back into ice. That's not the case with quartz. When quartz is melted in high temperatures, quartz is something called amphorous solid. Amphorous solid is much different than quartz. All the quartz molecules are disorganized, they're all clumped together in different spaces and there are a lot of gaps between them and just everything's really, 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 really. I don't know what I did, but like, Everything is there. And um, the amphorous solid is then cooled to then make glass. But we still haven't answered our question, why is glass see-through? Well, glass, that's because we need to see the atoms of those molecules. In those atoms, the, an atom is made up of a nucleus and electrons. If there's a lot of space between the electrons and the nucleus, of course, light, called like tiny little light particles called photons, can just wiggle through them. And then, when the light comes through glasses, then you can see through them because, you know, light's going through them and you can see, well, not see light, but like, you know, you know what I mean. So, you see through the glasses, but not all glasses are made of the same thing. For something that you want really strong glass, there's something, they're just manufactured a little bit differently. They still have their baseline of quartz melted called amphorous solid, and that's just like a base. And they just work on it from there. Like, you don't want your glasses to break on their first fall, so it's called tempered glass. They temper with the glass to make it stronger. Your windows, in case of a natural disaster, are tempered, so they are strong. And that's what happens in tempered glass, too. And you can still see through them because they're still made of quartz. Everything is very neat and tidy in there. Now, I just wanted to share a fun fact with you guys. Stained glass has color because whenever the light reflects through those spaces and those atoms, it actually reflects off light too. And light comes in a different variety of colors. So it just bounces off what color you are putting on there. So stained glass has a more blurry ear because light has to do both the jobs. So it's a little bit blurrier, but it still works, and it's colored. You know, it's colored. Everybody likes colors. That's what I have for you this week, guys. Please like and subscribe. Bye!